So one of my most popular posts on my blog has nothing to do with SharePoint, but everything to do with Excel. Um, and the reason it's popular is because it's just a, a kind of weird issue that you don't really encounter too often, but when you do, it's kind of baffling. So what's happening for people sometimes is they might inherit a workbook or they might have accidentally changed something without realizing it. And now when they do a formula, like in this example I'm using, I'm going to get the difference between these two times. I'm just going to say B2 minus A2, and I expect a result like this, where I see there's two hours and 16 minutes between these two times. Great. So what's happening is they use this drag to fill option, where they click this handle, pull it down, and it's supposed to calculate every row, right? But it's not two hours and 16 minutes for every row. So what happened at some point, in this specific case anyway, is someone had gone into formulas, calculation options, and set it to manual which means unless I come here and intentionally click calculate now, I'm not going to see the correct numbers there. So to fix this, all I have to do is change this calculation options to automatic. So just to repeat that, click on formulas at the top in your ribbon and then find calculation options, set it to automatic. And you'll notice right away it fixed the issue. So now I'm getting correct times for every row. So if that doesn't fix the issue, you might also check uh, your file and then options um, option here. So if just go to file on the upper left, click on options, and then click on advance. And there's a setting here that might be unchecked, and that's enable fill handle and cell drag and drop. So if you're having trouble just even filling to begin with, that could be your issue as well. So hopefully one of those two fix the issue for you. Um, if it's not the case, then feel free to comment on the video. Maybe I can help you figure out what it may be. Good luck.